So on May 23rd, mm -hmm. 2003, I went into my local uh, EB Games, I believe it was at the time, and I picked up Silent Hill 3. I traded a bunch of bullshit that I didn't care about. What'd you trade? <sighs> I don't even remember. No, give me one. Silent Hill 2? No. <laughs> no. I, no, I might have been. It might have been the original copy of Silent Hill 2 because I had gotten the greatest Fair hits enough. version. But I can't quite remember. Uh, this then was followed by me going to a friend's place, playing it late into the evening, about halfway through the game, mm. and then biking home through the only time I had ever seen... I think you talked about this my, The before. only time I had ever seen my small town covered in oppressive mist yes. late at night. Right, right, right. And it is the single most scary moment of my whole goddamn life. I had something like that with Resident Evil Remake. I think I said it before, but uh, hey, Silent Hill 3. Hey, guess what? This is my favorite Silent Hill. Did you beat I, this one? No. Yeah. I, I, much like you, I went to a friend's house and he had this on his PS2 for a bit and I played with him for a bit. He was bit. like, check this shit out. And I was, and I'd seen, I'd, I'd never been Silent Hill 2 at that point either, but I'd, like, again, played a bunch of it with him. So I've seen sporadic parts of this game. I definitely saw the the, the first hour that we played on the shitstorm, what, so like three we've years been, ago? we've so. been doing, uh, out of, as of right now, this is 2016. Right, depending when right you watch now? It. Yeah, right it now. It is. We've been doing the Silent Hill games in a kind of like ghetto backwards order. Oh yeah, the worst. In that we did uh, Downpour first. Yeah, who played? Yeah, that? let this play out. Okay. We did Downpour first, then who, we did who Homecoming. Played, who played Downpour? Uh, you did. Okay. Of course you did because you threw the X. It's true. Um, and then I played. Was it me that played Homecoming? No, no, it was you. I played it, but then I quit. You quit, and, and, and I had to. Boss fight, yeah. you had to beat it. That's a. If you go back and watch that, that is legitimate. Matt is pissy and frustrated, and he is mad. It wasn't fun. Um, and then we uh, we went through Silent Hill 2, Meet the Helm. Yes. Uh, and that's a good goddamn game. And we played Silent Hill 4 earlier in the shitstorm as a one-off. As of yesterday. As of uh, yesterday. Depending on which, where you are. Uh, you are. We are now, we, I'm not going to play that game. No, neither am I. Um, <laughs> uh, so the, we're down to the good ones remaining. Yeah. Because I'm going to, because Origin is not bad. It's no. fine. It's and fine. We, and, and oh wait, wait, Liam played Shattered Memories. Yeah, Liam did play Shattered Memories. That's right. He was and, the only one that hadn't. And that's it. a good one. So now there's only really like Silent Hill three and Silent Hill one left. And fuck it, we're gonna do. Oh, there's SA3. another one. There's another one. Huh? Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't eat. You so guess what? It, all the entire weekend in Portland, fucking Super Bunny Hop kept saying, "Play, play Book of Memories. It's play, play it." Nope. And I was like, "Are you? Are you?" What are you doing right now? I, I'm not sure. He's like, yeah, no, Book of Memories. And I was like, you know what Book of Memories is or you don't? Because yeah. I can't tell with you. You're an Android, Bunny. Can't so tell, I Bunny. Know. I don't I don't know. I don't know what his deal is. I don't really like him. So, Matt, you're on the controls. I am. Uh, as you lamented when we, we sat down to record this, you said, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this one. Hey, it would be nice if I get to play a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to ask you, before we yes. started this channel, uh, what Silent Hill games did you actually Finished. Uh, finished? Yeah. Zero. Zero. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, wow, you've been on a real fucking ride. I got my <laughs> I got my PS2 in 2004, and that was for Snake Eater. Yeah, that's So, yeah. like, then there was, what, three Silent Hill games up until that point? Mm -hmm. uh, four, technically? Wait, uh, when did The Room come out? I think uh, that was It might have been just before, or just after The Room come out. So, yeah, there's so much to go through. So, uh, hey, I'm, but I beat, uh, I beat Downpour. Yeah, you did. You sure did. did. Uh, just a heads up, uh, because this game is such a overtly direct sequel to Silent Hill 1, One right. there are going to be some spoilers for no, that game. No, I, I figured it. Figured like, I'm going to start talking about them in the first cutscene. Sure. Because they are unavoidable. I'm not sure about you, but should we actually turn off the lights here? Because very oppressive. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit the lights. Of, of you and I. Maybe open up one of the blinds a little bit. I'm not really sure. Because I assume this game gets dark. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, just... Yeah, there you go. Look at him move around the room, doing things. I think that's fine. That totally plays for audio. Yeah. Did you hear the subtle uh, gliding of the blinds moving from left to right? I sure did. Hey, look. How, look how well-timed that was. You sat down just as it, as, it, as it kind of finished up. That sexy FMV. You know what that FMV reminds me of now? And I'm sure mm -hmm. they were going for this. The end credits of Silent Hill, the, the movie, the first one. It had this, it had that type of 
the theme music, and it had like kind of well, Silent Hill visuals. one. The movie came out way after this. Yes, I know, but I think that's why. Did it? Not oh, that long after. Significantly after. Out? Four had I, come out. I think that came out in 2006, the movie. It did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, heads up, I'm not nearly uh, as much of an expert on Silent Hill 3 as I am of 2. Mm. So, uh, I will get some details wrong. If I straight up get a lore detail wrong, contact me on Twitter or whatever, and I yeah. will put an addendum in the description for whatever video sure. it is associated uh, with. So, I think normal on both should be okay? Yes. Uh, it's not that hard of a game. And really so. uh, because of uh, my noted uh, idiocy with riddles, we have a uh, guide with us just in case. I bought the physical guide because I was scared. It's, it's primarily for puzzle solutions. Cause, but we'll see. Because we're dumb. But we'll see. So f for those that seen it, yeah, we played this, like, what, the first 45, 50 minutes mm -hmm. on the shitstorm ah, two years ago. So I kind of remember this I thing, wonder what or... game will LP next year at the end of the shitstorm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Book of Memories. So this uh, this game, its primary focus, unlike Silent Hill 2, which is about personal trauma, this is back to Silent Hill 1 and the cult. Yes. The cult. The cult's amazing. Is a problem. No, nah, no, nah, they're great. I like that vague cult. The yeah, the sell drugs. Yeah. Like, that's how the cult makes money no, in, they, in Silent Hill they, 1, is they, they sell a they drug sell, called White Claudia. They sell Fade. Which is some kind of cocaine analog. What, Claudia has a drug named after her? Yeah. That's awesome. I don't think I it works had, like, like that. I, th I think it may. I think they may have uh, named... Does she know that it's named after her? Like, does, can she appreciate it? I believe she's named after the drug. Okay. So what you're looking at now is a PS2 game that is being hit with so many special effects unique to and the filters. hardware that the game is bordering on unemulatable. Um, when you run it on PSX, PCX2, uh, you have to run it in some ghetto <laughs> DX9 mode in order to... Oh, shit. Was there subtitles? There may have been. Shit. Well, we've already we can, screwed we can, up. We can, we can change those. We can fix all. that. I got my knife, my girl knife. It's the strongest knife. The strongest of all knives. All right. Now, we're not going to be quite as, uh, uh, what do you call it, obsessive about our cutscene silence. But yeah. I am, I am going to like quiet it up more or less. Oh. I just wasn't paying attention to that one because it's an you establishing know, you shot. You know one ni nice thing I know about this? I know secrets. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, that's, oh that's, that's a decent amount of... Yeah. Whatever. I wish I could have more options. Bam! Oh, you found it. You press L R one and you get secret options. So originally, I believe in Silent Hill two, this was like you unlock this after beating the game. Oh yeah. But then it just became like, nah, fuck it, extra Wait, options. What's display mode? Uh, change the vividness. I don't know what that means. Let's see what that is. Sharp. sharp. Normal. Hey, why don't we put in sharp? Why not? Okay. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. Hey, so I read about this. Um, this changes so that you always run. Yeah. Is that good? No. Shouldn't that be bad? Because don't you have to sneak by shit? Uh, not particularly, but it's so backwards from your regular form yeah, of mental okay. control that... Because you you hold the button to it's, run. It's probably not, like, that good oh. of an idea. I assume that means that if you hold yeah. down a button, you sneak? Yeah, you walk. Oh, that's, that's so backwards, you're right. I'm interested to see what, uh... All right, gotta save that shit. Very interested to see what the difference between a normal and sharp is. Because, I mean, that I don't see... Oh, wait, okay. th that is significantly sharper. Well, let's see in-game. Oh, yeah. Is this good? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. You like this? Ah, right, well, let's, uh, let's switch back. I'll have a good memory for this. No, I'm, I don't know if I, if I don't like it, but let me, let me say, yeah. It feels more like a PS1 game that way. Uh, like there's some kind of blur it. effect that they've removed for that, which may be good, may be bad. We're running this, uh, I'm recording it at 720. I think. I, I, Better. I don't know. But, uh... Like... Nah, you wanna... Nah, yeah, you nah, wanna... I like this, this yeah. better. So, right, much like so, much like Silent Hill 1, you start inside a nightmare. Oh, it's a costume. Uh, which is a huge departure from Silent Hill 2, which if you remember, you start in that dingy bathroom. Yeah. And then you basically... Oh, your flashlight is on, right? Sure yep. is. You start in that dingy bathroom. Careful, Ooh, you can fall careful. off that, yeah. and that will kill you. Like in one hit. Yep. It, you you hit it, and you go whoa, and then oh. if, if if you do it again, 
Do you remember the sound effect that the, that the Prince of Persia makes from Warrior Within when he like about to fall? It's the dumbest. Mm -hmm. He just goes, oh. Also, L2 is the ability to center the camera behind you when you're in the free move. Thank you. R2 is ready your knife. Well, that doesn't really do anything right now. And then we're not the you right. can block. Is which, that block? That is block. That's the dumbest block. It's, it's not a good block. Yeah. And then you have your, so that's L2 would be useful here. Because it enables you to have free camera control, basically. So like that, and then oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, right. Anything else to look at? In the nightmare, if I recall, there's nothing here. Like there's no items. You don't pick up anything. Uh, it's a you, nightmare. you do not. And in in addition, uh, you can either complete the nightmare section of the game, or, just or die. you can die, and they both represent the same Let's thing. Let's see how far we get. Uh, don't fight any enemies. If I, if I like, I remember this starts right off. Yeah. Do like, not shit. Do, not, do not fight any enemies. Just just run around. I will run around. And you're probably gonna want to run all the way down to the hallway and duck into a gift shop. Like this gift shop. That gift shop right there. And that's that's one of those big thundering thunder butts. Oh, what are their goddamn Closers? names? Closers. Those. Thumpers. Okay, so that's one of the more confusing enemy types because stuff in uh, Silent Hill 2, the enemy type is present. But it's slightly different, and it's called a mandarin. Right, I remember. Uh, but there's you, a bestiary in that. You are guy. right. That is called a closer. Why is it called a closer? Uh, I don't know. Because I guess they need to be close to you to. You so know, I don't know. So unlike sure Silent well. Hill 2 and some of the later worser Silent Hill games, where every single enemy represents the later worser a uh, very disgusting like subjective portrayal of like some emotion or what have you in silent hill one it's and silent hill cult. three because it, it revolves around the evil cult and it the masons, is right? it is con yeah it is considerably more literal i believe that's where you came in yeah uh, well i guess there's nothing in here right? I, i'm sure there's i think there's a way out the back a way out the back yeah like no well, one knows I, you're I, there I, I i tried the door that was back here but it said locked mm. like this door yeah it's that locked. door ah well Shit's locked. Um, they're slightly more literal. Uh, in Silent Hill locked. 1, uh, all the enemies are the things that Alessa is afraid of. Right. So it's her perception. She's afraid of monsters. Her perception of what a dog looks like. Her Oh, that's door right there. Right there. Yeah. Her perception of what a dog looks like. Her perception of uh, fear of bugs or nurses or what have you. So yeah, you're going to want to rotate the camera so that you can actually see where you're running. Oh, shit. Yeah, there you go. And that's the way forward. Uh, and in here, there's Fucking something similar going on to that. It. Like, there is there is an element of the, the character's personal motivation, but Whoa. there's also a, a... Jesus! So that's a pendulum. Yeah, so you're going to fall wow. off if you're not careful. Very dark. Yep. Trying to see where I can go here. And if you want to panic, you just hit triangle. At any time. What, is, what does that do? I believe it gives you your map. Uh, uh, so I'm here. I, hmm. Yeah, I'm a little lost myself, honestly. It's been a long, long time since I played this. Because feel maybe. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. You, you took a right when you should have taken a left. Quick, get I'm up there. Go up here. This seems good. Yeah, the amusement park is, uh... Oh, man, pendulums are badasses. I love Just, like, spinning blade man. They're spinning blade man, and they make one of the least amounts of sense of any uh, Silent Hill monster, because their, like, body type doesn't even have to conform to any reality, reality? at all. Reality? Yeah, that's awesome. Behind you. Um, yeah, you want to go onto the tracks. There you go. There you go. Uh, they, they're just nightmares. They're horrible. Um, now, Alessa was really uh, the 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 pro antagonist slash protagonist of Silent Hill One. Uh, is she got all burned up? This is known. She had a demon baby inside I'm really her. Really glad that town did that to her. Uh, and all the problems in Silent Jesus. Hill uh, pretty much stem from that. Careful. Why'd they do that? Uh, they wanted the birth of a new god. They called uh, Samael. Oof. Samael is one of the most standard. We need a new god. Well, well, couldn't really see. How far were we from the completing that? Uh, about ten steps. Great. 
Well, what happens? Uh, you hear a roller coaster, and she turns around to get hit by it. And then, and it then just, this oh, okay. happens. All right. I believe, I, in fact, you can actually see that if you check out our earlier Silent Hill 3 video. Oh, yeah, we got that far? Okay. Yeah. So, one of the developers uh, commented on the scene in which the sunset is absurdly red. Um, it is so red! There are not- sunsets do not look like this. Uh, and it is part of the game's theming of, like, listen. <laughs> this is not- This is real. a story about blood. Right, this is a, gonna be bad times. It's a story about gorgeous character models. Uh, also, uh, in Silent Hill 1, it starts the same way, where Harry gets in a nightmare, gets killed or incapacitated, and then wakes up at a diner. Right. So, like, like daughter, like father? Something like that. But we don't know that, actually, yeah, quite yet. Do. That's Heather. Yeah? Who Heather is. 20 years old. Happy Burger! Sorry, I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. So in SH2, we had uh, a lot of pre-rendered cutscenes that dealt with yeah. scenes like that. Uh, in SH3, they decided to go with what was, at the time, the most fucking mind-blowing character facial ever. models ever. To the point where uh, people who spent a lot of time on them, internet forums... So, oh, that's yeah. a safe point. Yeah. I know. Um, remember old man gif, right, which right, 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 is right. Uh, Douglas there shaking his head. Uh, I'd say that um, there's one game that I think of like, I'd say Haunting Ground is actually slightly better. Like uh, Haunting Ground looks really nice. Fiona's Fiona's face just looks like it's like it, it was basically like what the RE4 engine. So of course they look really the nice. very early version of that. Um, Mall toilet. That's a guess though. Mm. Uh, so. Heather, smart, ignores Douglas by running into the ladies' room. Because yeah, men can't follow you in there, especially detective men's. Hey, I'm detecting. Usually when a guy says, hey, Matt, I, need, I have information about your birth, yeah. and I'm like, I'm going into the ladies' room. See you later. Uh, Matt, you quick, can't quick, follow quick, me. Uh, quick moment. The game yeah. does seem absurdly dark for some reason. It does. Uh, so you're probably going to want to go into the in-game brightness option and kick it up a notch. St okay. Stop it. I just stop wanted it. to see if anything else came out. About that person that is event. very upset. What vertical lines? <sighs> so that makes us know that our perfectly calibrated... This one hasn't right. been calibrated at all. Let's just... Okay. Uh, so they appear faint. So back it off one. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what we're trying. So the people at home can see that as well. Ah, that's much better. You know what's great? When games like this... 
don't lie to you. Dragon's Dogma has what may be the worst. The biggest lies. The worst of brightness. brightness test I've ever seen. And the RE6 one, I don't know if you remember that. The don't. Train wreck. So you may notice that she also That's has bitter. a pendant around her neck that she says that her dad gave it to her uh, many years ago. Uh, there it is. Daddy gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my most treasured belongings. And there's a red jewel inside. Like and a, a billet. Kind of. <laughs> it seems like it. So Harry Mason went to Silent Hill, lost his daughter. Turned out she was uh, the birth of an elder god. It was kind of confusing. Killed all the bad guys. All of them. Even actually, the children. Actually, he killed almost none of the bad guys. Oh, yeah? He killed one of them. Well, that's the And escaped. So that, that weird old detective with the amazing face is out there. Uh, can you check these toilets? I I can't go on that one. Yeah. No, it seems like I can I can just check the occupado. Uh, what about that uh, third one? Maybe this one. Yeah. So the reason why I ask is that. Um, no. Because we are unfortunately not going to be able to see this scene. You climb out the window. Yeah. Uh, because we don't have a Silent Hill 2 save file on yeah, this. Yeah, don't you get like a... There like, is there is like a, a bonus Silent scene. Reference. There's a bonus scene in which you go into a toilet and... Can't get through. It's, it's fucking filthed up to shit hell. Because, because, it's, because it's when Harry has to dunk his hand. And, uh, you're thinking of James. Sorry, J yeah. James has to dunk And his she's hand. about to reach in and then she she's like, no, wait, what the fuck am I doing? That's disgusting. I feel like I feel like I need to, though. Mm -hmm. Whew. Okay. Tired. You have the lungs of like a teenager. You can do whatever. I absolutely Look love. Look at this asshole. I absolutely love. No him. one can escape. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, you can I, scooch under. I love it. Uh, Heather's performance in that scene where she's talking to her dad on the phone because it's the most believable, like kind of nice, sweet teenager who's like an idiot talking to their dad. Sorry, dad. I, 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 I didn't do the thing you asked me to. And then, and then you can tell that the dad on the other end is like, oh, that's fine, honey. You always forget. And that's why she goes, oh, ha ha. You uh, macaroni rascal. A little bit. I'm always fucking up. So now you've snuck back into the mall like a jackass. Yeah. Uh, th that, sh that door should have been locked. It should have been. All right. Let's try every door. So step one, find a map. Underpants. It's it's the it's the number what? Yeah. Underpants, huh? Okay, I assume the the map I remember is somewhere on a wall somewhere. We get That's it. usually the case. Can't do it. Let's fucking run our asses off. And it's locked. Oh, the most classic of shit's locked. It's ever. It's always gonna be locked, bro. No. Always. But the the door to get here wasn't locked. All right. Well, process of elimination. That's an impressive door sounding noise. Yeah, it's used quite a bit in the future. So, you're now in some kind of crazy mall. Kind of shitty, unused part of the mall that's so closed like, down. This looks like the mall in Hamilton. This looks like that mall in Hamilton or the one in, in Lachine that I used to frequent. Yeah. So, and there's weird noises. Just people chatting. And a weird polygon freaking us. A, a, a minor there. shadow glitch. I don't know. I, I feel my immersion being already broke. Immersion broke. A little exclamation points. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'd be great That'd be if a game knew when it was breaking its own immersion. A gun. Thing. 
That's a closer. I thought it was, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a closer. Right. So, so there's a lot of weird elements about their design. One, they're clearly wearing dresses. Yeah. It looks like we really gave Ann Coulter here. The what for? The what for. It's definitely not human. Never heard of I've such never a heard one. of Ann Coulter. They also have weird lips. <laughs> no way is it a cost. Uh, on their hands and their face that say all sorts of the, the weird appendages come out. It's fucking and it looks weird. like it's got tourniquets all over and just, yeah, it's a mess. It's a, it's a big fat mess. Looks like handgun, handgun bullets, handgun, handgun. Now, when you do beat the game and unlock a save file, there's actually a third option menu that you're able to, uh, access yeah. that enables you to do all sorts of crazy shit. So if I equip this, it will not work. What? It's equipped. Oh as a god, supply. this game has the supply oh. function. I completely. So I think it. it's like you press something, and you can reload outside. Huh. Uh, I think it's like. Do we have a controller map that we can find? No. Oh. It's clicking on the left stick. I. That's beat crazy. this game a dozen times and didn't know that. Does it tell you? I don't think it does. Yeah, <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> so let's give the room a once over. Uh, remember, we use L two to to sweep your camera. Oh, that's L1, oh, I think. Look at this. Yeah, L1 and R1 are your, your weird strafes. Oh, it, does it do a quick turn? I believe it does. If it's, you do both. Oh, you hold one, then you press the other. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird, but sure, whatever. Yeah, there's definitely there more go. in here. Oh, yeah, there's the... It's not that I hate clothes. It's just that this is neither the time nor the They're place. also covered in disgusting human refuse. I kind of don't like that. So what, was, so what was Ann Coulter munching on? I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Nah. They, Someone's they, been killed they by wouldn't a believe monster. Me. I've just, I, you know, I just, I was shooting a gun in this room and there's a dead person in it. Now, like, yeah, sure. The body of what I killed is now no longer here or you cops are not even here mm -hmm. in my imagination, but whatever. I absolutely adore every game ripping off Resident Evil 2's head tracking. Yeah, I mean, uh, Eternal Darkness had that as well. It's a, it's uh, that's a, it's a great it little gimmick. It blew me away at first. Okay. Um, see, I really like Heather as you really, we really need to sit down and watch RE Revelations. I've watched it. Wait, the movie? That's right. Silent Hill, you did? Yeah. The last time we talked about it, you said you hadn't. Well, What that, did you think of it? Was that it great? was two years ago, Matt. But was it great? It's a train wreck. Oh, it's so good. It's so bad. It's so bad. Map should be oh, somewhere. Right here. Maybe right here. It's possible. Oh. It's conceivable. Yeah. There you go. Got the shot mall map. You know, you never need a guide in Silent Hill if you can find the map. Triangle should be your map. It is. All right. So Look you all these red scratchies already. And you hit X and you'll zoom back in. X did that. Really? Uh, let me try again. Ah, uh, never mind. Um, that's special. All right, so yeah, try every single door that exists. Yeah. In this universe. Okay, no, we're we're locked in there. Okay, that's, yeah, that, that's that the elevator. elevator is not gonna work. Also, I really like. God, it's dark. Yeah, it's pretty. Dark. I really like that each Silent Hill game one, two, three has given you your classic tools in a different order. Right, yeah. So in Silent Hill 1, you get a match, then you get the radio. Sorry, you get a match, then you get the gun, then you get the radio. And we got the gun first now. And I believe you start with the, the, the flashlight after that as well. Yeah, we don't have the flashlight yet. Um, here, you get the gun. Don't have the radio, don't have the flashlight yet. No. And in Silent Hill 2, you get... The, I believe you start with the fucking flashlight? No, the flashlight's super late. And it goes radio... Uh... Stick. Stick! <laughs> you should just pick it up, then, then your main character just goes, Stick! This is my stick. I need this to survive. I need this. Alright. So All hit right. that map. Hit that map. This is how you you teach yourself to be a coward, Matt. Now, remember, we didn't sweep the first floor either. No. Right? Now, what you're going to want to do is hit every door in that hallway. Right. Also, you don't have to fight that if you don't want to. You know what? I'm not going to fight it because I want to keep all my ammos. So, one of the biggest pieces of advice is for every survival horror game that's ever existed underneath the sun 
is you probably don't need to fight, fight that. everything. You know, there's there's a huge nobility in being a coward. I believe even in that guide somewhere it says oh it says something about it's not cowardly to run away from every fight. Now that guy, you're gonna wanna fight. Because there's items next to him. There's there's a beef jerky, yeah? Yeah. Maybe I don't have to fight. You could try and kill him with a knife if you really wanted to, Maybe but I don't have to fight. Maybe. Get out of there! Fuck you! You did it. Oh, that guy's still coming, though. Oh, yeah. So that thing's basically a dick with legs. Cool. I've always wanted to... ...see that. I know. Uh, so beef jerky is what we picked up, yeah? Yes. And it's used to distract things? Ooh, basically. Look at this room. Look at this progress room. Look at this nice, safe location Health for drink. you. Health drink.